Hi, this is Ben. Ben, how many times have you heard about the dangers of certain foods? 23 litres of coke can easily kill you. More than 60 almonds swallowed in one go will provoke severe poisoning with a possibly fatal outcome. A portion of 30 apples with seeds will exceed the dose of hydrogen cyanide in the body and you are dead. A little surprise? 12 litres of water drunk one after the other will provoke swelling of the brain, lungs and other organs and you'll die. How many times we have to tell you, just keep the till balanced. We've picked up lethal doses of 10 most common foods and drinks for you. Get ready. Coke. Yes, we know that Coca-Cola is used to clean rusty pipes and it copes with it perfectly. But that doesn't mean that it corrodes your internal organs. It's all about sugar. This is the nastiest component of any soda drink. The lethal dose of sugar, according to recent scientific data, is 29 and 7 grams per kilogram of human body weight consumed at a time. One litre of coke contains about 100 grams of sugar. It turns out that if your body weight is about 80 kilograms, a little more than 23 litres of this divine drink is enough to kill you. But do not fool yourself. You are unlikely to be able to commit to the coke suicide because even if you can drink so much soda, water will kill you much faster. Water. In fact, water is a damn dangerous substance. Ben, you've heard many times that you need to drink at least two litres of clean water per day, and it's really good for your health. However, if you drink three times as much, you are likely to be poisoned. Yes, you'll be poisoned with the usual water. But why? With such great amount of fluid inside your body, your kidneys simply do not have time to remove it. The concentration of salt decreases and water begins to fill the intracellular medium, cerebral edema, pulmonary edema, and the edema of other organs. And then you'll share the fate of Jennifer Strange. Almonds. An adult person should consume up to 20 almonds per day, but not more than 30 grams. Lactating women are advised to eat seven nuts daily. The daily rate for children is five nuts. Exceeding the dosage can lead to poisoning. When fission of amygdalin glycoside contained in the seeds of bitter almonds takes place, hydrocyanic acid is released. Hydrocyanic acid and its salts are quick-acting poisons. When poisoned with almonds, you have a unique chance to experience the following symptoms. Bitterness in the mouth, dizziness, cramping and cutting pains in the stomach and intestines, vomiting, diarrhea, and this is only a slight degree of poisoning. An average degree of poisoning causes some additional symptoms. Strong headache, weakness, shortness of breath. And finally, with a severe degree, the victim has discoloration of the mucous membrane and skin integument, the skin turns pink. If you wouldn't get timely medical care, arrhythmia and loss of consciousness are added to the symptoms mentioned above. Spinach. Spinach is a very healthy plant, isn't it? This is every vegetarian's favourite food. This is really good food. But do not forget about the oxalic acid that it contains in huge amounts. This is a very controversial substance. High doses of oxalic acid in your body guarantee you the appearance of stones in your kidneys and urinary bladder due to poor calcium processing. Dear vegetarians, there is such a thing as a lethal dose of oxalic acid. If you transfer it to spinach, a little more than two kilograms of spinach at a time are enough to kill you. Beer. Theoretically, there is a way to get a killer dose of beer or other low alcohol products. The fact is that the concentration of pure alcohol in it is almost 10 times less than spirits. And it is almost impossible to get the lethal dose of beer without going to the toilet or vomiting. There is no exact info on the lethal dose of the beer, but on average, it is 12 litres of beer or 24 cans or one bucket. Thus, you have to drink beer for one to two hours without any snacks and rest. It is to be concluded that it is impossible to drink a lethal amount of beer. Apples. Apples are believed to be very healthy foods. It is true, but even apples can kill you. It's all about the apple seeds. When digested, these seeds secrete hydrogen cyanide or hydrocyanic acid. Does it mean anything to you, Ben? Oh, never mind. Just remember, it won't be good for you. One kilogram of apples contains 700 milligrams of hydrogen cyanide. If you'll get one and a half milligrams of the substance per kilogram of body weight, you are 
already dead. But still, it's very difficult to die from apples. You have to have a special talent to have an apple overdose. Watermelon. An adult with good health can eat from 200 to 1500 grams of watermelon pulp per day. But it is better to limit yourself to 250 to 300 grams. The main component of the watermelon pulp is water, which makes up 85 to 92 percent of the weight of the fruit. But the pulp, rich in fluid, stretches the walls of the stomach. The pressure spreads to neighboring organs, causing discomfort. Future mothers suffer from eating too much watermelon the most. And for people with reduced kidney performance, an excessive amount of watermelon threatens serious problems. Being overloaded due to a great amount of such a natural diuretic, organs cannot cope with it, provoking edema, or they can simply fail. Unpleasant symptoms after such a hearty snack are the following shortness of breath, heart palpitations, weakness. Besides, it is important to remember that dietary fibre that contains in the watermelon activates the digestive process, increased intestinal mobility and gas formation, pain, bloating, frequent loose stools, and dehydration. Chocolate. The most dangerous thing about chocolate is not sweetness, but on the contrary, it's bitterness. The dangerous substance that makes chocolate bitter is called theobromine. It is an alkaloid like cocaine and morphine. Cocoa beans typically contain 1.2% of theobromine in small quantities. It is even useful, stimulates the work of the heart, dilates blood vessels. But if you get too much of it, the consequences will be the following. Nausea, cramps, internal bleeding, and also a heart attack. But how much theobromine do you need to experience all these hellish torments? Ross Pomroy, editor of the popular science journal states, the lethal dose of theobromine is one gram per kilogram of body weight. But in fact, to get such an amount of theobromine, for example, if you were 10 years old, then you need to eat almost 2,000 chocolates, weighing almost 70 kilograms to have a chocolate overdose. Well, if you like bitter chocolate, then 600 will be enough. Although it is unlikely that you'll be able to do this. Sausage. Dear sausage lovers, you also have a chance to bite the dust after having a sausage overdose. <laughs> Everything is simple. The sausage, which you usually buy in stores, contains too much salt. 100 grams of sausage contains about 2 grams of salt. Meanwhile, your daily norm of salt is about 1.5 to 4 grams. Nobody knows the exact amount of salt that will put you in a box, but the most common answer is 250 grams. Can you imagine? Only 250 grams of salt, and you're dead. In general, you need to eat about 22 kilograms of sausage to get your lethal dose. Tuna rolls. Whether you know it or not, but many sea creatures contain high levels of mercury in their bodies. Of course, it's not their fault, but that's not what this is about. Traces of mercury are even found in fish from isolated rural waterways. Even worse, today, mercury levels above the norm are found in 25% of fish tested. Such an unpleasant surprise for those who like to fry fish or order a couple of rolls in the evening. However, to leave this world, you have to eat about 130,000 rolls. This will be enough to feel all the advantages of a high amount of mercury in your body. Did you like it? Then share this video with your friends. Thumbs up and subscribe. Click on the bell button to be the first to see new videos. We still have a lot of amazing tips for you.